We've got more Madden 22 leaks and rumors to talk about as the game is just about a month away. Now, we haven't gotten too much official news from EA directly just yet, other than the news they dropped at the beginning of June, but I believe starting this week or next, we're going to start getting a lot more news all throughout July as the game is a month away. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that official news, it's going to be dropping probably starting any day now. Make sure to subscribe, turn the bell icon on so you don't miss those videos when I post them. But we've got more leaks and rumors that have been coming out in the meantime, so let's talk about them. The first one, which is a really big one that's been talked about by quite a lot of people now, is that supposedly franchise mode is now going to be getting six trade slots. And as many of you know, this has been one of the biggest things that's been asked for for a while because simply only having three trade slots on each side does not really allow for the most realistic trades. Now, please take this one with a grain of salt. Like I said, I've heard this rumor and this leak from multiple different accounts. Multiple different people have talked about it, but it doesn't mean that it's 100% true. Because when the beta was out last month, this was not in franchise mode in the beta. The beta still only had three trade slots. However, sometimes things like this do get added before the game officially releases. When the beta is out a couple of months before the game drops, it's at least 90 to 95% done. Not too much changes, at least nothing too drastic from the time of the beta to the time of the official release. Usually, they clean up some of the bugs, they polish the game better, they clean up some of the animations, and they will add a few small things here or there that maybe just weren't finished in time for the beta so it is possible that even though this was not in the beta that this could be coming when the game releases or potentially it could be something they attack in a title update after the game releases much like they did last year with scouting about six weeks or so after the game dropped last year they completely redid the entire scouting system and dropped it in an update so the six trade slots thing is something I've heard brought up a ton by a bunch of different sources and I think it is possible that this could be coming but just know that it is a leak slash rumor which means it is not 100% confirmed by EA but this is definitely something that a lot of people want it's been pretty high up on the request list from franchise players so hopefully they do get that in the game the next leak slash rumor we got is that there's not going to be cross play for yet another year now what's crazy about this is that we've heard the rumor for two to three years now that this was going to be coming to the game EA has done this with some of their other games I think they even and tested it with FIFA last year which let us know that hey this should be coming for Madden because if they do something with FIFA it pretty much always eventually comes to Madden shortly after and even just a few months ago the rumor was that this was something that was supposedly finally happening in Madden 23 but now all of a sudden that seems to have switched once again and it sounds like now that this will not be happening in Madden 23 and we don't even know if it's going to happen in the future at all at this point point. and I do believe if this was officially coming to Madden 23 this would be one of the few things EA would have announced by now because they have announced a decent amount of news in June. All of the big stuff that we needed to know about has been announced. The rest of the stuff they talk about in July is going to be some smaller detail stuff, which is still important, but they've kind of knocked out most of the big bullet points by now. And if this was going to be a feature of Madden 23, I definitely think this would have been one of the things they would have mentioned by now. So I do believe that this leak is credible and that there's not going to be cross play again this year the next leak that we got is supposedly the gritty is going to be in madden 23 now we talked about this even a few months ago when i did the initial top 10 rumors for madden 23 and then shortly after that we saw a video on tiktok by the motion capture company that does the animations for ea and they had a video of them capturing the gritty celebration but when the beta dropped it wasn't in the beta or at least i didn't see it i tried to find it i didn't see it couple of people swear they saw it I didn't but it has been talked about even post beta that yes the gritty will be in the game and I mean it should be it should have been in the game last year it's the most popular celebration in the NFL and I don't think that's going to change too much this year I think you're going to still see a lot of players using it especially guys like Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase who have been doing it all the way back since college another big leak or rumor going around is that it is once again not coming to the Nintendo Switch now this is another thing that months ago the rumor was that it possibly was coming to Nintendo Switch finally. But now the latest news is that supposedly it's actually not going to be on the Switch. So if you're a Switch player and you were looking forward to maybe Madden 23 being on that console, doesn't look like that's going to be the case. In fact, I can pretty much say that this is positively not the case because when they dropped the initial news last month, they said it was for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S 
and PC. They didn't mention Nintendo Switch. So again, this kind of like crossplay is one of those things that if it was happening, they would have definitely mentioned it back a month ago when they dropped all of the big information because this would be a huge selling point, especially with pre-orders going out. They would want to capture that Nintendo audience and get their pre-orders in. So a lot of people have still been asking about this, but it does not look like it's coming to the Switch. And at this point, if it's not coming to the Switch, I don't know if it ever is going to go back to a Nintendo console because it hasn't been on one for quite a while. And if it still isn't going to the Switch this year, I just don't see it happening. Another big leak slash rumor is that there's not going to be any update to relocation or pretty much any customization at all for Madden 23. Now, again, in the beta, this was true. There were no new relocation teams. There was no creative team. A lot of people every day are still asking me in my comments if we're finally at least getting new relocation teams because a couple of years ago, EA did put out a post when the Fix Madden franchise backlash started and they talked about some of the things that they were going to attempt to be doing within the next year or two for free franchise mode and one of the things that they listed that they were going to try to update were the relocation teams and a lot of people took that as a guarantee that they were definitely going to update relocation but you got to kind of read the way they word things they never actually promised it they just said it was something they were looking into and we didn't get it last year and the beta this year it was still the same relocation teams there was no creative team and once again while this could be something they might update in a title update i don't think this is coming to the game and the latest leak is that there are no plans to change that for this year and what i think they're going to do which i've talked about previously is that with ncaa coming out next year i believe ncaa is going to have a creative team i believe they're going to have a real career mode and i believe they're going to take what they're building for ncaa and kind of double dip and use those same features for madden so i anticipate madden 24 bringing back something like a superstar career mode and yes also so a creative team because if they're building that stuff for NCAA they can then just take that and use it in Madden and that's why I believe this year the customization has still been pretty much left untouched and also the career mode face of the franchise kind of got stripped and they didn't really do too much new with it because I think next year they're looking to take NCAA and use that stuff for Madden too so that's really just a guess I think it's a pretty well educated guess but for this year I wouldn't expect anything new with relocation or customization based on what we know and what we've heard another thing that we have found out is that it appears halftime adjustments are coming back for Madden 23. Now, maybe you might remember in Madden 22, this was actually something new that they put into the game and you could use it for franchise. You could use it for regular play now, online head to head, and you could use it in ultimate team. Well, the ultimate team version of this was broken. I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was broken and they wound up removing it from the game after like a month or two and they said they were going to fix it and put it back in. They never put it back in because I guess they never fixed the problem. Well, it appears than in Madden 23 the problem is finally fixed and they're going to be adding the feature that was new last year but we really didn't get to use into Madden 23. Something else that people have been asking about is the last gen versus now current gen. What are going to be the major differences? A lot of people seem to think that last gen isn't really getting much of an update besides rosters and from what we've heard that's not true. It's going to be kind of similar to last year where things in these specific modes like franchise, face of the franchise, ultimate team most of that stuff will be the same on both generations so for franchise for example the free agency changes the player tags and motivations that I've talked about in the franchise videos those should be on last generation I will do a video comparing both when we have all the official details for both but things like that the new face of the franchise story and some of the other little features within game mode are going to be the same as far as we know from the latest we've heard they're going to be the same on both generations the main thing that's different with the newer consoles much like last year is the gameplay oriented stuff the field sense the new tackle animations the better player movement the more mid-air collisions the new passing mechanic that they've added to the game the player models and stuff like that that's going to be new gen only but last gen should still get franchise mode stuff face of the franchise and things like that speaking of franchise mode if you want to learn more about face of the franchise and regular franchise mode i have those videos up on the screen right here so you can check those out.